good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you are watching this video. Welcome to the YouTube channel of the Bitcoin family. You might recognize me from three and a half years ago, and my family and I sold literally everything we owned, our house, our cars, our companies, her 70 pairs of shoes, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, three and a half years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain. In today's video, we will talk about the Bitcoin price and as used on every Monday, I will add a short clip of the trading show I already did this morning with Lisa and Edwards and Sean from Hard Forking, sharing a few really cool charts I found on Twitter. Also sharing with you guys which altcoin I just bought because I think it's about to explode, talking about our travel plans as a family because they got kind of disrupted at the moment. And I will end the video by showing you where you need to be the 28th of August if you want to be educated on NFTs. Enjoy today's video, guys. Hi guys, let's take a short walk around the house on the driveway and talk to you about blockchain, crypto and life. No jump today, just a short walk. Because you know guys, it is Monday and on Monday at 8 o'clock in the morning, I always do the trading show with Sean and Lisa. So I'm going to add a part of the trading show I did on the hard fucking YouTube channel to this morning into this video with some amazing charts and some really cool altcoins you could be buying now that will be probably making a 200 to 500 percent run in the next couple of weeks i am first going to talk to you guys about our trip to austria because we should be flying to austria tomorrow because we booked flights with ryanair and we were supposed to fly from Alicante to Vienna tomorrow but as Austria just updated their new COVID rules we can't fly tomorrow because to fly we need to be tested on COVID and if we are not tested up front of the flight we will be tested in Austria to one we think they want to drive up the numbers of people that test positive for COVID so they will probably test us positive as well as we had a cold and we were a little bit sick so then we will be marked as a COVID person we need to pay these tests ourselves so that's 140 euros per person so that's 700 euros for the family to be tested for COVID with a stick into your nose and then if we test positive in Austria, then we need to stay inside for two weeks. We need to quarantine ourselves. This is exactly not what we want as a family. So we are not taking that risk at the moment because we don't need to take the risk. Yes, we will lose the money of the flights, but luckily we booked with Ryanair and these were cheap flights. Um, not going to Austria. I'm really sad about it because I was really looking forward to visit Vienna and to visit all this amazing blockchain and crypto companies and see this mass adoption of crypto because they accept Bitcoin in more than 2,600 stores in, in Austria. But then again, it probably happened for a reason. So we will go to Austria the next time when it is possible. What we will do next, we don't know yet. We are thinking about staying in Spain some longer, maybe even going to the south of Spain or even going to Mallorca, this beautiful island of Spain or maybe to Portugal, uh, even Brazil came up to our mind because they are a little bit more free when it comes to all these flu things. So we don't know, but I will keep you up to date what we will do as a family. The beautiful part though is that we again could show the kids, you can plan whatever you want, but all your plans can be changed every time again. We plan to fly tomorrow and now we can't fly. So we need to adapt and this probably will lead to another beautiful opportunity in life again so always go with the flow don't try to swim against the stream because that will make you very tired and if you swim against the stream too long you will even drown and drowning is something you probably don't want to do in today's video you will see some charts by lisa but let's first take a look at a few charts i found on twitter and the news articles as well let's start with this four hour chart bam this one 
in this four hour chart you guys you can see we now need to break this 20 ma when we break this 20 ma and use this 20 ma as a support we will probably try to break this 50 weekly moving average line above the 20 ma and then when we break this 50 weekly moving average we will use that one as support again to get to the midline of this channel we have been moving in and when we get to the midline of this channel this will be again 12k we could probably try to break the 12k again and maybe even two times and then when we try this for multiple times again the bears at 12k will give up and the bulls will take over and then we will take this run out of the channel to 13,500 US dollar per Bitcoin. This is a four hour chart. This is what we can expect to happen this week. And if you for example take a look at this chart, bam! this one is a three day chart so every candle is three days if you look at this chart you can see that we are now in this reaccumulation phase in this yellow block so what is going to happen next when you look to the left on the chart you can see what happened the last time we had an accumulation phase from this accumulation phase we had a 1k candle all the way up into this yellow block and in this yellow square we went sideways and from there we had this huge run of 3k upwards now we again had this reaccumulation phase again a 1k candle that brought us above 12k now we are in this yellow block in this yellow square again so what will happen if we will leave this square we could see another 3k push up all the way up to 15 16k so this is exactly what they expect in the long term long term at the moment is till the end of september beginning of october you can also see in the bottom of the chart that the volume and the rsi are exactly the same as it was at the last time when we saw this accumulation phase the 1k candle the yellow square and then the 3k move upwards we are seeing the same pattern in the chart at the moment which makes me think that we could see this huge green candle coming to the Bitcoin chart that will bring us all the way up to 13k and maybe then again even higher but I will leave the rest of the TA to Lisa so she can tell you what she is expecting of the Bitcoin chart good morning good afternoon or good evening wherever you are on this beautiful world welcome to the hard forking youtube show <laughs> do you know you went in like that and you had no arms dd it's like your arms got cut off <laughs> oh god yeah <laughs> so hey 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 bitcoin's been uh, a little tougher to trade this week oh my god bitcoin's a bitch i hate bitcoin it's like <laughs> it's dead to me dead to me oh oh lisa <laughs> Tell us why. Tell us why. This is a charting show, but I think we'll we'll have a quick well, fundamental chat, eh? And then we'll get so into the uh, into the chart. I had I had this target on Bitcoin of twelve thousand. I think it was two hundred or something. And the CME chart did it. No exchange did it. So and the exchanges all did this weird curl and then died. So. You know, I step away, I moved my stop up luckily enough on this one and um, I step away and I come back and I'm like, fuck, Bitcoin died again. It's like, ah, oh. so yeah, so that was so my what do you, mean, what you stepped away, you, you, uh, you went and visited somebody, did you, instead of staying no, I, I trading for us? I didn't, I actually just went downstairs and got a coffee. I came back upstairs and oh it was like, <laughs> yeah so i actually when i went out on saturday night to see adam there it was like i didn't adam have back. any tr i had it was not adam back it's like i had no trades people no it is not him i had no trades open none so oh except my alt trades and they're fine so yeah <laughs> okay all right no no bitcoin trades but on on that note he told me he doesn't watch the show so i can say this so I woke up in the morning, I open my eyes, he's sitting Bet you he in does. Bed. <laughs> Probably. So I, I'm in bed, I look over, and he's sitting there and he's on his blockfolio. Is is he like the most perfect guy ever? <laughs> <laughs> so he see he wasn't looking at you, but he was looking at his blockfolio. Okay. Yeah. Hey, he sounds perfect to me. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, okay, my crazy, wacky, wild charts are back. This is a, a 45 minute chart. Um, and I just, I just wanna show you something that, um, there's a channel here. I had a different channel drawn and um, I've pulled off all the waves and um, there's this, actually this channel and this strong support here that we keep touching to. Now, this support broke with this uh, big drop that we had, but I really think that was sort of like just stop losses and I, I'm going to ignore the fact that that's there right now and go back to the, the strong support that we've got along this region because we keep coming back to this region. And the other thing is um, with this chart, so if I draw the channel this way, ignoring this wick, I then have this top wick here. I have this wick here. Um, we're gonna touch, which we've just done. We've touched the 200 MA, which I said would happen on Twitter. So we've just touched this 200 MA. We'll probably drop back down to near this support, which is about uh, 11, sort of 500 to 11,450-ish. And um, that puts us into a third wave. So we're, we're going in, and this is the wave that I was talking about that we, we're going into. Um, and when we go into a, a third wave, they're the fastest and the swiftest wave within the pattern. So being as this is a, a third wave of, you know, the, the greater third wave. So every third wave that we have within this third wave, so we'll have three of them, is going to be quite huge. So if we count this <coughs> wave here as our first wave, like overall, so in our larger pattern, we've come down, we've completed our second wave here, and we're going into this third wave, which is going to take us way, 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 way up. So if we pull back, um, we've probably got about 14,000 on this wave. We'll have a, a quite a big drop. And then, you know, we've got a, a 16 to 17,000 rise if this is a third wave. So we could even get um, to our all time high on this wave, depending on if FOMO kicks in, you know, and, and with the, you know, countries like Iran and China and starting these sort of hash wars and withholding their Bitcoin, they're not selling it, they're holding it then, you know, Bitcoin's going to become more scarce, more valuable, and this is going to only increase the price of Bitcoin. So once we get out of this really, really choppy channel that we're in, um, which has been almost impossible to trade, then we, we're going to start, you know, progressing with these, you know, this third wave. So we've come down. So if we count this as correction complete, and, and this is like our first of our third wave. This next wave is going to be like uh, 11,500 to the top of the channel is 12,700. So it's a $1,200 candle. So potentially on this move. So we've got another one of those, those big explosive candles on the way. So, and that's, that's why I'm saying that, you know, we've got some bear tears on the way on this one. So that's pretty exciting. Very good. That's very exciting. I just was <laughs> I was in shock you called it a candle. Um. Oh, no, I'm no, sorry. It's not. We've got this, this giant big $1,200 green dildo coming on the way. So, um, so this is the, if we go to the 45, we're coming up here. We should reject. This is a, um, a resistance within this area. This is the chart that I had on Twitter this morning. Um, so we should get to about seven, 11, 775 ish. And, and then we'll drop down a little bit. So being as this, I do believe that this is the first wave, um, in this pattern. So if we, uh, take those off and we sort of look at this. So we've technically we've got our, our first wave happening here and then we'll come down we'll retrace and then go into that third wave so um you know first second and then up to that explosive third wave fourth wave retrace within the the channel again and then you know continue higher 
so you know this is this is going to be like a, a big 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 next wave so we've got our our channel up here so you know this is this target that I've been eyeing off this 12,700 that um, we just haven't been able to get through and you know continuing in this channel we get to this pattern we come back down we correct again and we continue higher um, so yeah I, I really think you know I'm, I'm seeing all of these these things again on Twitter that you know the gap needs to be filled and you know all of this stuff so and if we have a look at this pattern it's it's actually a really really cool pattern like if this happens this way so we've got our inverted head and shoulders it's on a, a little bit of a diagonal here we'll come down for that wave there um and then you know this is a, a, another pattern that i love like trading so we come up we've got here so we, we're hitting these wave targets so we've got 12,300 here on this um sub wave which is the next wave up so if we were going to break this down into waves on it on this next wave up so we'd have you know our first wave here second wave here like and you know that's how we would move through that sub waves within this wave sort of system that we're going into this third wave so you know we're going to hit this target here on this inverted head and shoulders continue up and then hit the channel resistance so I really, really don't see us breaking down at this point. Um, I, I don't know how it's even possible to break down at this point, like with all the stuff that's happening um, with, yeah, what we've talked about at the top of the show. So Ethereum um, had the most brilliant, like, correction ever. So it literally nailed um, the support, bounced, and, yeah, so... It's the most bullish chart I think I've seen in, in quite some time. So I, I'm, perhaps I should be trading this on um, Prime. So they do have Ethereum and it might be much, much easier to trade than BTC is right now. So, so yeah, so it, it's had a, a retrace. It's only had a, a 236 retrace, which is a super bullish retrace. Um, the reason being, obviously, because of all these DeFi projects, we we need Ethereum to to buy the majority of them. If you're on, um, you know, any of the Dex sites, you're you're in Ethereum. If you're in, um, what is that? I can't even think of what it's called. Uh, what is it? The Uniswap. Uniswap. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, Uniswap, the chop shop. So, yeah, so if you're in that, then you're in Ethereum and, you know, you're buying ETH to, to buy these projects and, you know, hope you're getting rich quick. And, you know, that's kind of what this all is. Everyone's all excited. And it's, you know, it's 2017 again. They're all getting rich overnight. Only chart I want to show you is this really cool chart, really cool tweet I found by Bitcoin Jack is this one. Bam! On the right side, you can see the gold chart. On the left side, you can see the Bitcoin chart. So Jack is now saying, my, is Bitcoin lagging gold? Because if you look to the gold chart, you can see this channel we were moving into. We had the ABC correction. And then from this channel, we had a one, two, three, four, five move. And the five move we still need to do in gold. And this fifth wave would take gold all the way up to 2,100 US dollar. And then when you look to the left on the chart, you can see the Bitcoin chart. The Bitcoin chart is also moving in this channel, A, B, C, and then it's going to do the same waves. One, two, three, four, five. But in Bitcoin, we only reach the second wave at the moment. So we are going to do the third wave, a correction to the fourth wave, and then the fifth wave, all the way up maybe to 21,000 US dollar. So I find it quite interesting, yes, this comparison between the gold chart and the Bitcoin chart, because if Bitcoin would be lagging on gold, then gold, Bitcoin could be repeating what gold showed us on the charts. And then yes, Bitcoin would be going now to 12K and then all the way up to 16K, have a correction over there and then push it all the way up to 21K, which would create a new all time high. Really cool tweet by Bitcoin Jack. And when we're talking about altcoins, guys, today I bought myself some DOT. DOT is from the project Polkadot. I bought these coins because I think this one is about to explode.
So if you want to trade an altcoin, then please take a look at that. No, I am not a financial advisor, just a dude in this space that loves to be in this industry and you know, that has some experience and that buys altcoins now and then to make some profit to live off with his whole family and we have been living this life now for four years and no we haven't been touching the biggest hodl stack we have because they are safely stored on a hardware wallet somewhere in a safe in this beautiful world we only live from the path we trade with so yes i have been making some profits in this industry so yes i could have a good call when i call out dot as a good investment at the moment but again no financial advisor at all as you have seen in all the videos I've been making, I'm just enjoying life, the crypto life, 24 seven to the fullest as a family. And because I received a lot of questions about the difference between spot trading and leverage trading, I'm going to make a special video tomorrow, a 10 minute video or something, where I explain the difference between spot trading and leverage trading. And where I show you guys that if you're not have the time to trade every day, you can also look at this new really cool future at prime xbt which is called co-vesting where you copy trade other traders you so you can see the result of these traders and then you can just copy trade them you just need to push one button and then you start to copy trade these traders so the revenues they are making you're making as well uh, minus a small fee you're paying these traders for letting you to copy trade them a, a really cool way to trade cryptocurrencies if you just don't have the time yourself but i will create a cool video about that tomorrow if you don't want to miss this video then do subscribe to the channel do share this video with your friends do give it a thumbs up and um, do hit the notification bell so tomorrow you'll be notified on this extra video i'm going to make and please leave a comment because guys i love to respond to your comments you can educate me in the comments and i can educate you in the comments and then together we will be educating all the other people that are reading these comments so please comment as much as possible because that's just a really cool way in youtube to educate all the followers when it comes to subscribers guys we just passed the 8k level we came from not even 2k subscribers like three months ago we have been growing tremendously all the way up to 8k subscribers i want to reach 10k subscribers as soon as possible and i want to do something crazy cool when i reach 10k subscribers so if you have an idea what i could do when we reach 10k subscribers also leave a comment because maybe you even have a more crazy idea than i already have in my head let's set this as the next goal 10k subscribers so let's start at the beginning if you did like this video give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and family so they will subscribe as well hit the notification bell and leave a comment and maybe we will break this 10k subscribers resistance level in the near future guys thank you for watching today i wish you an amazing day and please remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living see you tomorrow again bye